fish on one. Get him! We feed the bastard to the urchin. of its whereabouts, a great owner willing to pay a finder's fee. Crate doesn't look at all like it was smashed in a storm. Someone chopped it open with an axe. Damn the dogs, you don't look like one to haggle. You of Clan Brockvar? True and blue, bred and born. Think I found something might belong to you and your kin. Cargo from a longship that wrecked north of Ardskellig. Ach, the Hemdel's wrath must be. Sailed out to raid the continent's coast. Must be a month now, never came back. But listen, you happen across a sword among the wreckage. Decorated. Ornate? Belonged to the captain. His kin would surely want it back. Yeah, I found it. Glad to give it back, provided the finder's fee is fair. Naturally. Wouldn't have it any other way. Thanks. Hurry, and you might be able to recover the rest of the cargo. We'll do just that. I've folk to round up, but thanks for bringing the news to us. Don't mention it. So long. Damn the dogs, you don't look like one to haggle. Show me what you got and we'll see. So long. Eyes
Greetings, Yen. Good thing you're here. The frostbite was starting to set in. You should have dressed warmer. <laughs> Next you'll be pinning mittens to my coat. Can we go? Yeah. Quite a few years since I was last on Hindisfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Early sprouted whiskers. Get in the ground. Me, living and on the horror. Oh. Perhaps twirl written in the stars. Greetings. Can we talk? I fought as much as anyone. What was that? Said I, Sauron the Elder, fought as much as the rest. Only survived because the blow missed me organs. We're looking for a young woman. Ashen hair, green eyes. Was she here? Our lads would return from the continent with captive wenches. I took no interest in them. At my age, one woman under my roof is too much already. No. Siri'd never let herself be taken. Oh, you don't know our lads. And you don't know Siri. Little irritable, aren't you? Who wouldn't be? Folk come from around and about to gape. See what's happened. Oh, look at me, cockeyed too. They didn't kill you. Buried three sons, but you're still alive? I explain and explain, but I'm weary on it. Next raid, I sail with the Larvik lads. Show them what I'm made of. Aren't you a little old for a raid? Old? I'll never be too old to spill Nordling blood. Or die an honorable death at their hands. Farewell. Freya, watch over you. some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So... And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. They say the Wild Hunt destroyed this village. That is true, though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. Did you see riders on skeleton horses, wearing frost-covered armor? Aye, that's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men, like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came, cut him across his face. He tried to whisper, only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Go on. I ran out. To get help. To get Leif. But so many bodies. Yole. Ingvar. Little Neggy. Which way did the riders go? towards the sea, through the ravine, on horses made of bones. Bones and ice and- Enough! Get to the point, now. We're looking for a young woman, name of Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry, she is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri, uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes, yes, what happened to her? I don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables, 
with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And... and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Scar- Craven! My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the Elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very scary. I do not mock your lores. Please also respect ours. Morkvarg. What's that? Her, you mean. The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Borgvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse, meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing. Provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds, but so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg, got a few more questions. The curse. Tell me more. Archpriestess Ulva cast it. It bound Morkvarg to the garden for all time. So even if he is killed, he returns there. Never heard of this Morkvarg. What is it exactly? Not what. Who. The worst man Skellige has ever known. He held nothing sacred, raided the lands of his own clan, took gold from Nilfgaard, murdered women heavy with child, and children he... Mm -hmm. I know the type. They said he feared but one thing, albeit secretly, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg decided to prove everyone, himself included, wrong. So he came to Hindisvia to raid the goddess's garden. This was years ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his path, 
He stabbed her in the breast and cast her into the mud. As her blood gushed forth, she cursed Morkvarg, and he transformed into a monster. Could you be more specific? Monster can mean a lot of things these days. Folk have been known to call me that. I'm afraid I cannot tell you more, for I've never seen him myself. But... Hmm? You might speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He saw Morkvarg and his men descend on the garden. He was the sole pilgrim to escape with his life that day. Settled in Larvik, you'll find him at the landing there, provided he's not at sea. Never heard of this Morkvarg. What is it exactly? Not what. Who. The worst man Skellige has ever known. Mm -hmm. I know. They said he feared but... Farewell. The goddess protect you from all evil. Blaspheme the gods. How are you? What is it you wish? Pray with me. Greetings. Can we ask you something? <sighs> Excuse me. Can we ask you? You can. We're looking for a young woman. Ashen hair, green eyes. Seen her? No. Try to remember. This is important to us. Ain't to me. Ain't nothing important to me. They destroyed it. They destroyed it all. Were you here when the hunt attacked the village? Why do you care? We're following their trail. Anything you can... <laughs> Hear that, Gimri? And they say I've gone mad. Farewell. Hmm. Yes? Worried this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? My, my. That must be Morkvarg. Quite the appetite. Might even call it a woman. A bite. Just one morsel. One piece. A crumb. Food. Food. <coughs> Shank. Not, not again. Not again. He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Thought you might object. Me? 
Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen, look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown, how to sell Kaer Morin out from under you. Go already! Craven's blood, flowing profusely, trails clear, should lead me to him. Something down there. Can't see a thing. Light prints. Craven trod carefully. doesn't need his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. Monster tracks. Running. Chasing something. Looks like Morkvar got bored of sneaking around and attacked. <laughs> blood. Craven's blood. Craven was injured, started running. doesn't give up easily. like rain. Show me what you got. that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. K 
key. Ramond, where's the key? All I have in the chapter house. The crate, but the key. Where's the key? Ah. Why so silent, Ramond? You thief, you rogue, you horse son, you worthless bastard! I will find the key without you, idiot, stupid prick! It's the curse. Uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. Looking for a man named Craven. Apparently came here to kill you. Seems <laughs> it didn't work out. <laughs> Those who come <coughs> rarely introduce themselves. <coughs> what did he look like? <coughs> uh, no idea. Then I cannot help you. Uh, I've shredded uh, uh, many. Uh, uh, Mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted, raided, drunk most away, but all but one. True treasure hid away. Yours, just help me. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst. Not the garden to which I'm bound, even. But the hunger. Anything I devour returns to ash. Ash I cannot eat. I cannot drink. Yet I bloody live in Rome and prowl. The hunger is terrible. Ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh. But the smallest morsel burns in my throat. Throat. Like... Boiling tar. Everlasting hunger, classic as curses go, goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help, or I'll return to shred you, rip your limb from limb. <sighs> See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. So, may never let wouldn't count on it. Fool, you can kill me once, twice, thrice, but in the end, I shall conquer. Best lift the curse. See 
if we can do this the easy way. Morkvarg, of my own free will, I offer you this fare. Now dig in. Won't turn to us. Won't know until you try. Come on, a spoonful for daddy. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> this shite again! <laughs> some conversation. Not interested. What will you do? <laughs> what a witcher ought to. friend. Patient, doesn't mouth off. Craven must have blocked it, or it's just locked. Gotta go round. happening.
Something is moving here. Must be another cave above, or a way out. Bones fell through the crevice, years ago. Floodgates open, but nothing's happening. The floodgates open, but nothing's happening. through this door. Must have smelled something beyond it. Symbol of Freya. Untouched. No sign of feeding. Markvarg doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Starting to envy you. Wish to hear a story. If I have to, I'm all ears. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a trap. Chained me down. Lock me in here! Know what I did? I bit my leg off to free myself. Every bite brought pain and howling. I vomited blood. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You don't understand. This was more. My mouth burned. Like swallowing fire. As if all inside me was torn. Felt I would die. But I, I did it. And then I shredded them, dashed them to bits, made tiny crumbs of those plowing heroes.
expect me to pity you? No, I want you to understand. You cannot kill me. You cannot stop me. I'll not be bound. Break any fetters. The curse. Free me, or I'll return to get you again. Jennifer's suspicions proved true. Siri had appeared in Skellig. She'd arrived from another world together with a masked mage. She and the mage had fought the wild hunt before fleeing through portals that carried them to Velen. There, one trail ended, another began. A good time later, the wild hunt had reappeared on Hindusfjall, meaning Siri, too, might have returned to Skellige. Here we are again. You can end this. Release me. Could try the meat again. You fucking try it, you prick. Farewell. See you soon. lead to the well. Guess Craven didn't want to be eaten, preferred to drown. These prints should lead me to Craven, or his body. Well, what is it? What do you know about this garden? Let me think. That it's dreadfully overgrown? Had its history in mind. They say Freya herself planted it. When the world was young, the goddess strode across Skellige, sowing seeds among the rocks. But Erberos the snake bit a hole in her basket. All her seeds poured from it and landed here. Thus, this garden is bounteous while the rest of Skellige is barren. You believe that? Is that a serious question? Of course not. Favorable microclimate for plant life. End of story. To transform into a werewolf. It's a dog's life, huh? Well, there's not a youth out there who doesn't have a wolf in his belly. Then the curse confined him to this garden? Couldn't really cut his wolf loose. No question he was top dog here. Just wolfing things down, or not. Geralt, that's enough, hmm? Fine. Still had a few good ones at the tip of my tongue. I'm sure you did. We'll say you won. 
I found a corpse. Not Craven's, though. Uh-huh. And you thought I'd find this interesting because... Because... No bite marks on it. Doesn't seem strange to you? Zeracanian cuisine, dandelion's fame, and shoes with curly toes seem strange to me, yet I don't discuss them with you. Reading between the lines here, think I'm wasting your time? I mean merely that we should focus on what's most important at the moment. This curse that holds Morkvarg, pretty interesting. Is that so? Mm -hmm. Anything he tries to eat turns to ash. But he chewed a piece of his own flesh and almost died. As I see it... Terribly sorry, but why must I hear this? Well, thought it might interest you. And maybe we could think of a way to lift the curse, together. I don't know, Geralt. Maybe try feeding him his own haunch? I don't really care. We're not here for you to satisfy your ambitions. Play the consummate witcher. We're here to learn about Ciri, must I remind you? What are you gonna do in this big house? They're not coming back. You're alone, still. 